Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making cheddar cauliflower or fake macaroni and cheese or whatever you want to call it. It's basically like a cheesy dish or cheesy potatoes but it's made with cauliflower. Um, the other day I went shopping and I got a head about this size, maybe a little bit bigger, and it was almost $9 and I about had a heart attack so I ended up putting it back. Then I went out later to get some other stuff, and I found this one at a different store, and it was not quite $5, but I was still upset. I mean, I think that's a lot of money for a, a vegetable, okay, <laughs> a cauliflower. And um, my niece told me that Walmart had them for $2.97, so I went online and I ordered it. Well, the picture online doesn't tell you how big it is, and this literally is not much bigger than my coffee cup. I mean... Like, seriously, that is the smallest head of cauliflower. Anyways, all that ranting aside about the price of cauliflower, however, what is this, chaufleur? Cauliflower, that's English. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this ready to make that dish. So what you'll do is you'll cut all these leaves off and then cut the white into small little pieces. And we're going to go ahead and steam that. So I'm going to get this all cut up. All right. I got this smaller head trimmed and took all the leaves and stuff off. And you see what I'm talking about? It's not even as big as my coffee cup. Even if I stand it on its end. I mean, and this was like $3 at the Walmart. <laughs> Insanity. I mean, I'm sure it's delicious, but that's crazy. This should be like a dollar. <sighs> okay, so then you just cut that up in little pieces, and I'm going to put it in this dish to steam it in my microwave. But you can boil it on your stove just till it's kind of semi-tender. Before you chop it up really small, you want to go ahead and rinse it good, and then you can dice it really small. And you just kind of get it diced up like this size is the size I cut it. You could have them bigger pieces if you want. And then you could either boil them or you can steam them in a microwave. I'm going to steam them. But I gotta finish getting all this chopped up and we'll be back. All right, I got everything diced up in here. Um, I got this dish at Pampered Chef years, probably 20 years ago. Um, but any steamer, or you could just boil it on your stove. I just really like this because it has holes in the lid. So when it's done, I can just drain the water off and we'll go from there. I microwave it in this for about six minutes until it's tender. Everybody's microwave is different. You do it how you want it. You're just making them, you know, al dente, kind of tender, and then we'll move on. All right, so my cauliflower is done. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, grease the bottom of this pan and the sides. Um, it doesn't usually stick, but it also gives it some good flavor from the butter. Just, yeah. At least it hasn't stuck in the few times I've made it. Um, and depending on how much cauliflower you're using, you might need a bigger pan. I'm just going to put how much I'll put in here, and then the rest of it I'm going to use to make fake potato salad. So, that's another recipe. Just use it like you'd make, like you'd use potatoes. All right, so you get that all buttered up, and then I'm just going to dump the cauliflower in the dish. So, I've already drained the water. If a little bit is still in here, it's okay, because... You'll see why in a minute. I'm going to put about half of it in there. So the pan's about half full. I guess you can't see. It's about half full, and then I'm going to add my cheese right here in the middle. All right. So I'm using sharp cheddar. I'm not measuring because uh, it's going to be different for everybody, depending on how much cauliflower and how much then how much cheese or how cheesy you want it. This is from my freezer. There are some big chunks. It won't matter because it's going to get all mixed in. And then I'm going to go ahead and top it off with some more cauliflower. So it's almost to the top of the dish. All right. That looks amazing. Maybe a little bit more. And for your okay. sauce, you just need heavy cream and water. Super, super easy. You also will want to add seasonings. I like salt and pepper. Also, not measuring because it'll just really be to your taste and how much um, you're making. So, I mean, if you're making a little, you probably wouldn't add two tablespoons of pepper. But if you're making a lot, you know, or if you like it really peppery, okay. So, salt and pepper to taste. 
All right, now the cream. Let's get onto the cream. All right, I changed angles. Hopefully you can see a little better here. So this is a half cup measure. So I'm gonna do a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And you just kind of pour that over the top. And then I'm gonna add a half a cup of water. So we just kind of rinse out that cream. We'll just go ahead and pour that in. And then you see as it's rising, how much you're gonna need is based on how much you're doing. So I'll add another half a cup of cream. And then I'll add another half a cup of water. And it looks like I'm gonna need one more. So this, this dish is gonna take like one and a half cups of cream and one and a half cups of water, basically. So, I mean, if you did a smaller dish or a bigger dish, you would need more. Oh, beautiful. All right, so now, okay, the last ingredient we're gonna add is xanthan gum. I just buy it at Walmart, great value. This container is about $5. And it lasts quite a while. I use it for any thickening of sauces or gravies that I'm doing. So I'm going to add one teaspoon, and I'm literally just going to sprinkle this teaspoon across the top of my dish, just like so. Just kind of sprinkle it on there. And then I will use my spoon here, and I'm just going to kind of stir it in. Yeah, so you just kind of stir it gently, you know... Get that xanthan gum mixed in. Get all the cream and water mixed in. Get the um, cheese kind of mixed in. And there's no science or it has to be perfect or anything like that. I just shot cream out that direction. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, if it doesn't seem like it has enough, you could always add a little bit more cream and a little bit more um, water. Or you could use milk if you want, but milk just has a lot more carbs. And we don't drink milk in our house just because of that. You could do almond milk if you wanted, which we have, we do have that. But I like the thickness and richness that the cream gives it. And right now, it's like literally just like watery. But it won't be once it's done, okay? It'll be super thick and creamy. Um, and if it's too um, thick or you notice you don't have enough s a sauce, you could definitely add like a little bit more cream and a little bit more water or milk, whatever. Whatever beverage you're using for your dish. I got some on the edge there. All right, and then you're just going to put this in the oven. I'm cooking ours at 350 because that's the temperature I cook most everything on until it's done. So, I mean, usually it's about... 20 minutes to half hour, just depends. The cauliflower is perfect. It's al dente. Um, this still has a little bit of a crunch to it, but it's perfect. So it'll be great for potato salad as well. All right, I'm going to get this in the oven, and I'll show you when it's finished. You do bake it uncovered. It is done. I just took it out of the oven. Um, I would personally let it cool for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and stir this in. It gets like a crust on the top the longer you cook it. But I tasted it a little while ago. And you don't have to stir it in. I'm just doing that. Because um, I don't want it hard on top. But anyways, this is so good. I promise if you make this, your family is going to love it. Even if they know it's cauliflower, it just is so good. All right, so now... There's your cheese sauce. It's a lot thicker than just cream. And as it cools, it will thicken even more so. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you make it, let me know if you enjoyed it. I hope you do. Um, oh, my daughter loves it. My husband loves it. My whole family loves it. It's so good, and it doesn't taste like cauliflower. It's just amazing. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go for now. going to get me a bowl of this, and I will see you in the next video.